Bye, Anna. Thanks for having me. Safe travels. See you next time. Ciao. Oh, and thanks for selling my surfboard for me. Oh, you got it. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to hit the road. Got to go back up to Los Angeles. Um, I fixed a memory card issue. Sorry about that yesterday, but it will be interesting to see the footage from the good old iPhone. Um, just kind of straightening up, getting road ready. And um, if I didn't mention already, I'm going to meet up with uh, my friend Micah, who is a mechanic. He's got the tools, which I don't have. And um, we did brakes before together. It's fairly easy. Um, I just didn't feel like buying a jack and stuff. Yes? What are these? New shades. Sick, thanks. <laughs> what do you guys think about my new shades? <clears throat> Feeling the blues today. <laughs> One, two, three, go! So for $2.59, it's a little bit more expensive, and I probably would have filled up the tank, but you guys should see something here. There is no little latch to leave this thing on, so that device, that little piece probably cost, I don't know, a dollar, maybe five dollars max. I got 55 gallons, there's no way in the world I'm, I'm going to be holding this thing for 55 gallons, so I'll just put a, enough in to get to L.A. We are back at uh, O'Reilly's, Santa Monica. You, I don't know, I think you guys met Micah before when he got that uh, Mercedes for ago. super cheap, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you do with that thing, by the way? So still have it. It's just that I dropped a key down into the V of a very powerful V10 motor <laughs> and didn't realize it until I came back from the test drive, and at that point it didn't respond to any oh, demands anymore. So. <laughs> In order to get a new key though for Mercedes, the car actually has to be there. So the car is at Mercedes in Santa Monica. Oh, for nice. A $350 mistake. Damn, that's an expensive mistake. Anyways, we're going to do the brake pads today. So he's brought some tools, tools I didn't have. Jack stand. Jack, I really don't know if this jack is going to work. That thing's pretty small, but we'll figure it out. All right, guys, this is what we're uh, looking like so far. We just got the wheel off. We are going to undo these bolts here for this gigantic caliper. Um, then we're gonna swap out these massive brake pads right here. These are uh, factory Motocraft ones. Step one is, uh, well I should say step two, you're undoing the uh, the pistons right now. Um, I, I've never done one on this bus before, so uh -huh. at, normally what I would do is I've removed the bottom pin, I've loosened this one. Normally I would hinge it like this up. Right. And it begins to move, you can see. Yeah. But it also um, hits right here, I believe, and that's what's stopping the motion. Oh, I see what you're saying. So if that's the case, I just have to remove the nut all the way. It's gonna be the easiest way to do it. These screws typically are the sliding pins, but in this case, they're not. That's why they're dry. They don't actually need grease. Okay. They should go like this. Yes. This allows even movement of this brake caliper whenever the brakes are applied. Move it again. See it? Yep. But this one does not move. Okay. So what we have to do is remove these boots and force it and force gel in there. So we'll do that to both sides. Okay. That way it won't start breaking like this. Yep. We'll put it in the jam and right. possibly lock up the brakes. Okay. It looks like uh, brake, uh, front brake number two is done. We're gonna move on to the rear brakes. So we ran into a problem. The uh, Ford dealership uh, sold me the wrong kind of brakes. As you can see, these are the wrong kind of uh, brake pads. So since we are parked right next to an auto parts store, Mike is doing chill. Grab some water, man. I'm gonna see if they have the uh, correct parts inside. This is what the dealership told me was the correct part uh, based on my VIN number. This is the correct part based on my eyes and based on what this vehicle actually is. So this is uh, the fourth and final wheel. It is uh, an unusually hot and muggy day here in uh, Venice Beach. Hang on, let me just make sure I locked up. Also a bunch of homeless people that are <clears throat> opportunists. So if you never get an op opportunist, an opportunity, you'd be in good shape. Anyways, he's tired and hungry. I'm tired and hungry. We're gonna go over to the sushi place. What do you think? Yeah, I'm gonna be part of this. <laughs> this bank roll's gonna be bomb. 
This is this is a, a reward for working for, I don't know, a couple hours probably in the sun so far in this hot day. Last brake pads are installed.